potential to get a fair bit aggressive. Hello everyone, my name is Erin and I'm obsessed with books and today I'm doing a bookish challenge. I don't actually think I've ever done a challenge before, so this should be fun. It was popular like a year ago, so I'm a bit behind, but I'm still really excited to do this. This is the Do I Have That Book Challenge. It's a bit like a scavenger hunt. I have a list of stuff that I have to find on my bookcase and I have to do it on a timer. I think like the limit is eight minutes or like the record is eight minutes but I want to do it in under eight minutes. I want to get everything on the list in under eight minutes. So this has the potential to get quite intense. Considering all the crap on my bookcase along with all the books it's gonna be a bit tricky to actually find stuff and not break anything. And I'd really rather not break the stuff because it's kind of expensive. We're gonna go through the list one by one, seeing if I have that type of book and if I can find it. If I can't find it, there's some kind of penalty. I'm not sure what it is, but I'll figure that out later. I am nervous, I'm nervous, but I'm getting pumped and I'm excited. Once the timer has started, there's no going back. I got to find the stuff. One, okay. Okay. <laughs> one, two, three, start. Okay, the first one is a book with deckled edges, deckled edges, deckled edges. Um, right from the door. A book with three or more people on the cover, that was easy. Uh, if I can actually get it. Ow, oh my gosh! Ah! Um, no, there's no, there's no three people! No, where's my one with three people? I know it! Oh, I can't find it! Oh, oh, oh no! I don't actually know where it is! I'm gonna be in this room. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Um, 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 here we go. Yes, yes, yes! There are more than three people in the crowd! Done! A, ba a book based on another fictional story, um... What is on Rose of Beauty and the Beast? A book with a title that's ten letters long! Ten letters long! Um... Um... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! Huh! Air of fire! Don't oh, believe I got that on the first try! Oh, we're almost one minute in. I wonder if I can do this! Okay, next one, next one, next one. Title that starts and ends with the same letter. Oh, jeez, jeez, okay, what the... Um... Uh... Uh... <laughs> sea of Shadows! Sea of Shadows! By Kelly Armstrong! Sea of Shadows! A mass-produced market paperback. Okay, yeah, I do. I do. This one. Cover soon to be revealed. Mass-produced. Boom! A book with an author using a pen name. I do. I do. Stephanie Meyer. Her name is Stephanie Morgan. A book with two maps in it. Two maps in it. Uh, um... Huh, huh. I don't think this counts. Does this count? Because I, I'm pretty sure it just covers two pages, but I don't think it's two separate maps. Is it two separate maps? Is it two separate? It's not two separate maps. I don't even know if there's a map in this book. Is there even a map in this book? There is. Damn it. No. Carabop. 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 Does it? Does it? Does it? Does it? Does it? It's got letters in it. No. Oh, there are not. There aren't any. There is a map. Does it count as two? Uh, bloody hell, it doesn't count as two. Oh wait, there's a map on the front, and there's a map here! Two! <laughs> the top of map! A book that was turned into a TV show. Easy! Game of Thrones! A book written by someone who was originally famous for something else. I don't think I have anything like that. Was John... Wait, was John Green a YouTuber first? I, I don't actually know. Wait, wait. Oh, 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 oh. Torn Charles, YouTuber. A book with a clock on the cover. A book with a clock on the cover. Clock, 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 clock. Did one of the city bar... One of the cities had a clock, didn't it? Yes! Big Ben! Big Ben! Uh, do you have a poetry book? A poetry book? I don't think I have a poetry book. I don't really read poetry. Does anyone see a poetry book? Does anybody see a poetry book? I don't think I have one. Shh. What do I do if I don't have it? We're gonna have to skip it. Never mind. It's fine. Let's skip it. A book with an award stamp. Um. Oh, I have no idea. I have no idea. Oh, yes! Diary of Anne Frank! <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you have a book with an author with your same initials? I do! And I get to shame the self promo by this one because it's my book. My initials. The fire theme. We're five minutes in. We're five minutes in. Crap. Do you have a book of short stories? I do. I do. I do. Uh, here. Shards and Ashes. Shards and Ashes. A book between 500 and 510 pages long. Oh. Um. Uh. 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 uh um. Uh. How many, how many pages do you have, my lovely? 400. No. No. Okay, see you guys. See you guys. But no, nope, I'm gonna die. I die today. Is it four, 510? Yes, yeah, 510. Maybe, maybe. Queen of Shadows. No, nope, that's in the 600s. Way off. 500 and 510. Come on, come on, come on. Damn it. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Day the bottom side. A book that was turned into a movie. A book that was turned into a movie. I know I have. I know I have. Here. Hunger Games. Um, a graphic novel. I know I don't own any graphic novels, so we're gonna skip that. Do you have a book written by two or more authors? I, I do. I do. Where are they? Huh? Uh, beautiful, beautiful redemption. 
Redemption 2 all of this can you go see a manga store? Stop the timer! <sighs> <sighs> that was intense. I'm sweating! That was a work out and a half. I don't need to exercise for the rest of the year. Okay, we're gonna check the timer now. So I'm supposed to try to get it in under eight minutes. <laughs> and I got it in seven minutes and 16 seconds. You know something? You think you're gonna move faster, but you don't. It's hard. That was not easy. I kind of struggled. Oh my goodness. I know my bookcase pretty well, but there were a few times there where I'm just like, I don't know. I don't own any poetry books. And I, well, I think I might own them, but they're certainly not on this shelf. And I'm not gonna run to the either side of the house to try to find them, because that'll take full two minutes. Wow. Okay, we're gonna list all the books I got. A book with deckled edges, The Wrath and the Dawn. As you can see, the edges are perfectly deckled. A book with three or more people. I really thought that I had the original hardcover there, but I had the new one, so it wasn't the right one. But it's okay, because there are three or more people in the crowd on this cover, and I think I get it on a technicality. A book based on another story. A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Maas is a fairy tale retelling of Beauty and the Beast, so nailed it. A book with a title of 10 letters long, I did not think I'd get it this fast, but it turns out Air of Fire being the first one that I went for is 10 letters long. See, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. A book with a title that starts and ends on the same letter, that one was surprisingly easy as well. Sea of Shadows. A mass market paperback, that one was fairly easy too. Fury Born, this one was kind of everywhere. This was before they actually revealed the grand cover. A book written by an author with a pen name. The whole Twilight series. Guys, her name is not Stephanie Meyer, it's Stephanie Morgan. A book with two maps in it. This one I also got on a technicality and I'll show you why. A sharp, darker shade of magic here. There's a map on the title page and then there's a second map on the part one. Boom! A book based on a TV show, Game of Thrones, which I'm still not okay with because that ending Let's not go into it. A book that was written by someone who was famous for something else before they became a published author. That one was kind of easy, not really, but Torn Trousers by Andrew White and Gwyn White. A uh, really good book. A book with a clock on it. Clockwork Angels there with Mr. Big Ben. I do not own a poetry book, so that one we had to cancel out. But I think I won't take any time off the penalty because it already took me like a whole minute trying to find one and there wasn't one, so we'll call that the penalty. A book with an award stamp, The Diary of Anne Frank, is kind of all I got. A book written by an author with the same initials as you, that one was easy to self-promo because I have the same initials as me and I wrote The Fire Thief, so... <laughs> Boom. A book of short stories. Shards and Ashes by Melissa Meyer and Kelly Armstrong and a bunch of other authors for the hardest one of all of them. A book but with between 500 and 510 pages. We have Days of Blood and Starlight. And it closes on 510. A book that was turned into a movie. The Hunger Games. I don't own a graphic novel unless you count the illustrated versions of Harry Potter. I don't have any. And lastly, a book written by two or more authors. The Beautiful Creatures series by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll fill that spot. I knocked basically everything off my shelf. This is going to take a while to clean up. But I did it. I got in under the wire and it was freaking glorious. That was fun. I encourage you to make this video. Do one of these challenges, get yourself all sweaty and a bit worked up, and let me watch it. Tag me in it, or like, send me a link. I want to watch you get all frantic trying to find your books. I spent a lot of time in this room, staring at this bookcase, sitting on the floor admiring it when I'm supposed to be working on my own books, and it turns out that procrastination has finally paid off. Thank you so much for watching everyone. My name is Erin. I make books on this, well, no, I make videos on this channel weekly. Although I also do make books, but not weekly. I can't do that. That's impossible. If you enjoyed this video and you like books and ridiculousness, this is the channel for you. So maybe hit that subscribe button or hit the like. That helps me out a lot. And if you want notifications about when I post new videos, you know what to do. Just like, Click that bell. Thank you again for watching and I will see you again next week when my shelf has been properly tidied up and everything is back where it's supposed to be. Bye!